On behalf of Passive House Accelerator and our stakeholder partner, NYSERDA, the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, welcome to Reimagine Buildings Electrification. So just a little bit of uh, overview. Uh, Ecoflats is uh, in Amsterdam, New York. It's the southern edge of the Adirondacks. It's between outside Albany towards, towards Syracuse. We are in climate zone six. And uh, we're starting construction this month. And it's my understanding is this will be one of, if not the largest PS0 projects uh, for multifamily market rate uh, in the nation once it's complete. Um, a little bit of the scale of it, it's 168 units. Uh, there's 13 buildings. And uh, one thing that I'm gonna get into, and I'll, I'll go to the next slide here, is, uh, you know, as Shafali said, we're get, we're, our structure here is to talk about the problem and then talk about the approach. And the problem is a lack of high performance market rate housing. And this is what has been um, this client's um, uh, motivation. And there's four you know, pillars, I guess, to how we have uh, achieved the, you know, our results. The first is the integrated project delivery. That is not the focus of this session but I can't emphasize how important it is. And this is very much how we achieved these results. We're gonna get into the technical details and focus our time there. We'll touch briefly on the creative funding sources and the pro forma and the way we achieve these results. And uh, we'll talk about our experience and also the simple off the shelf uh, methods that, that, that we have. Um, just one thing that I'll put out there is market rate in our in this mark in this area is under two hundred dollars a square foot is the type of construction that we're achieving and getting contracted. I know that's a very low number, and uh, we're not going to talk much about it, but these are truly renting for the same cost as the code apartments that are being built uh, down the street while while achieving. Uh, everything that I just talked about. Again, this is not the point of this topics, but I'm going to pause because this is how we did it. This developer and what I and this approach is we did not when a developer can spend tens of tens of thousand dollars, this developer was willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to save millions of dollars. And the way we did that is through the integrated uh, design process. Another very important point, and it's been brought up uh, earlier, is NYSERDA's uh, large um, piece of this uh, equation. We're getting, as you can see, almost one and a three, three quarter million dollars of support through this. So those, that is the, those, that's the incentive, if you will, that's going into this market rate project. Some of that is for the Building of Excellence early design. We were a Building of Excellence demonstration award winner, and then a, a couple other programs through NYSERDA. So they've been a huge uh, partner uh, for us in making this happen. And really for this project, the next slide, I'm going to talk about the team and our history a little bit. Um, going to PS0, we haven't done before, but we've been working together for 10 years on net zero multifamily projects. What NYSERDA did here and what they did is they pushed us to PS0 and to doing a passive house project. Um, so again, I'm going to get to the, the nuts and bolts of what we want to talk about is the technical details, but how we did this is we've been working together for 10 years. This upper left slide here is um, Net Zero Village from 2014 to 2018. And this is uh, 12 unit of buildings with solar carports. We used, back then we used uh, PHPP, uh, we've converted to Woofy Passive, um, but, uh, we knew we were failing back then, but 
we still use those tools to know how we were failing. And it was really dollars per square foot per kilowatt hour was our mantra back then. And a lot of that went into this building has with with the same developer, the same contractor, and uh, th through this whole period. So I think experience and learning and evolving. So we didn't just end up where we are doing uh, a Fiat Zero project at this scale for under two hundred dollars a square foot. Again, that's from the foundation up, and we could talk all day about it. And I, I'm happy to share information afterwards. Uh, I'm sure there's channels to find out. And we uh, the second project on the upper right, this was the generation two, and this was uh, Solera, uh, the first phase, and phase one and two. And this is a double loaded corridor version of Net Zero Village. You can see Net Zero Village was um, on uh, east on uh, east-west ac axis. Uh, this is a double loaded corridor, but it was surprising how little uh, that affected um, with the surface to volume ratio. Uh, it was very and very efficient, even though half of it was facing north. The third project um, on the bottom right was the same exact phase for phase three, but we did a low carbon version of this, all cellulose insulation, reduced concrete, and that was what Solera, Solera phase three was. And now uh, we're working on uh, eco flats, which is uh, what I'm gonna talk, spend the rest of the time talking about. So again, for what this audience is, and I'm really gonna focus on these, these uh, th heating and cooling, ventilation, domestic hot water, um, uh, I will touch a bit on dehumidification, cooking and laundry, but these are the really big uh, ticket items that, uh, you know, and this is where we're really going to talk about our approach and off the shelf. So let me go to the um, heating and cooling slide. So this is half of a building of a 12 unit building. Uh, and then, you know, entry underneath in the, stair the stairs here, uh, I believe this must be a second floor plan, but what it's showing is the, and in the diagram in the upper right, you can see the staircase, uh, mechanical room in the back of the staircase with units on walk up, wood, wood construction, three stories with a, a very centralized. So what I'm going to get to with all the rest of these technical slides is, um, showing you the nap the napkin sketch is what allowed us to be able to do this uh, at the the way that we're doing it. Um, we're using a three quarter ton, the smallest you can get uh, mini split with a single head in the living room. There's electric baseboard in the bedrooms and there's also a transfer fan. And this is from 10 years ago is, is what we did. We have a we have a relay. We're bringing air into the bedrooms that that kicks on when there's a uh, temperature difference between the bedroom and the main space with the one head. If that goes on for a few more minutes, then the electric resistance heater kicks on. So it's that type of thing that of of a way of doing it. And this is just uh, the straightforward, the most simple mini split you can get with a uh, short refrigerant line with the outdoor unit mounted to the back of the building. And um, I just think that when something's complicated to design, it's complicated to build. When something takes time to build, time is money, it takes time to build. And that's, I would say that that's the secret sauce of this project, other than the fact that we didn't just come up with this. This is a lot of years and a lot of, um, uh, design thought, uh, part of the integrated process is we have the contractor and the whole team at almost every meeting throughout the design process, which most uh, clients are not willing to do that up front. Um, the other thing that helps is we're doing 13 buildings. So, you know, when you, as an example, get rid of the nailing pattern on um, a sheet of plywood to every, you know, four inches instead of eight inches or whatever it is, that's a lot of nails at times this scale of a project adds up to balances out design fees. There's only a few things we have to do like that to, to, to um, make that uh, economical for the client. Ventilation, we had a, a very similar approach. Here, we, uh, 88 
percent sensible recovery, renew air. Um, but again, a relatively off the shelf. Every apartment has it, just like the mini split has its own unit. There's a mechanical room in the back with, you know, 10 feet apart going out the back of the building. Um, and, uh, you know, we are with Passive House, we are supplying uh, to every bedroom. Um, again, we've had different versions of this and different efficiencies. And honestly, before we went to Passive House, no, we didn't have a 88% sensible recovery. That one of the big shifts for us were the triple pane windows and the ERV. Those are the two things we were already net zero before with a passive house air tightness and we knew and and um we didn't need to be much over code uh our value. Uh I'm gonna go to the next slide, which is the domestic hot water and a similar approach here. Again, it really gets back to some things we evolved and uh over the years, but a lot of this comes from our original design where we have a manifold in the mechanical room and every fixture is close enough that we have home three eighths inch home runs going back to the manifold in the mechanical room, uh, no circulation. Uh, and again, it's just a very straightforward, uh, si simple design. Um, in the current thing, another thing that we're doing that, um, raise our eyebrows mine as i was preparing for this presentation we currently have two 40 gallon hot water heaters a hybrid that then goes through to a electric resistance when it can't meet the load and i called the developer up before this presentation I was like really we're doing two 40 gallon water heaters like yep that's our experience that's all we've needed but the real story there, whether we chat about that or people tell us we're crazy, is if we are crazy, what this involves is going to Lowe's or wherever and buying a bigger one, walking in the mechanical room, I'm not a plumber, cutting out a couple pipes and putting it back in. Now, also that's a, that's a commodity type product versus I know Sandin, I know that there's different products that are better in some ways out there, but those are the type of um, decisions uh, we've made along the way to achieve what we're uh, where we're at. PV carports, again, this is the last two projects. Um, the, I'm not going to get uh, too much into this, but it's built into the performer, the rent, uh, the, 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 the utilities are all in in the rent of these apartments. And um, this is really what we're doing now uh, with uh, uh, going to FIAS zero. So this is my last slide. Uh, the outcomes of the presentation and what we're doing here, market rate, net zero, low carbon, passive house. So thank you for your time. And uh, I look forward to having uh, more conversation when we're not limited to 15 minutes. Thank you very much. <laughs>